Hello everybody, I'm Sushi Cat and I hope you've all had a fantastic day. And I am mortal and Jesus, I hope that we can just get on with this now. <laughs> After all that palaver with Tenpenny and fucking around and the hour long backtrack oh. we had to do because glitches. Yeah, I, I was not happy. You are supposed to be able to follow him and you are supposed to be able to find him there. And also Tenpenny... He is not supposed to just immediately die. Do you no, know he's the not. human body can survive without the stomach or spleen? <laughs> oh, Thank you, Moira. That's exactly what we needed to know. Well, what's up is I want to talk to you Some about say this. It was all a hoax, but it's real. Here, check out this holotape I found. That Commonwealth robot was real. Huh. Okay. Have fun out there, okay? Well, I I wanted to activate this uh, this particular quest, so because it's interesting. Yes. Okay, so I've already got that one. Yes. But uh, let's at least um, listen to the uh, yeah to these these ones. Uh, okay. Not the launch codes, obviously. catcher from the Commonwealth. At first, I thought he was going to kill me. But it turns out he's an android himself. And he's gone rogue. I didn't believe him at first. But I'm convinced he's telling the truth. We need to find him a place to hide along the railroad. He also insists that we help him locate a trusted doctor and techie. Okay. Yay. So, uh, there's an android out there, or rather a synth out there somewhere. If you're listening to this recording, it is because you're believed to be trustworthy. I hope that is the case, because this recording puts us both in danger. I'm escaping from the Commonwealth. I'm an android, a synthetic man, a slave. The men hunting me are ruthless and will stop at nothing to retrieve their property. I need to find a doctor in the wasteland to perform facial reconstruction. I also need someone who knows a great deal about computers. I need... I need to have my memories erased and my face altered to look like someone else. Seems like fun. Uh-huh. Remember that secret android project I told you about? Well, they got some serious pre-war tech on their hands. They nabbed a lipoplasticator and a microdermal graftalizer for the facial reconstruction. Not sure where they'll find a chopper with enough skills to use it without making him look like a freaking ghoul. Oh, and get this. Can you believe they found a circuit neuralizer? That or someone built one. Word is that they're going to completely rewire the brain of one of those things. If you know who they got working on this, let me know. I want to meet the guy. So, yay, I guess. Well, that should cause the, uh... The chick from the railroad to actually um, come sure. and talk to me now. I guess this is like the first stirrings of how <coughs> the railroad established their policy of shipping since way outside of the uh, the institute's reach, and also wiping their minds and giving them cosmetic surgery. Yeah, probably. Because this seems like a job that was just hacked together out of one man's desperation. Mm. Rather than, you know, a regular, uh, everyday sort of thing. Yeah. I mean, they don't seem to know what they're, you know, who they're talking to or, you know, who they're contacting or anything like that at this point. Yeah, so, I mean, Fallout 3 is, like, what, 10, 15 hey. years? Before Fallout 4? Something like that. I think it's 20. I think it's 20 years. No, because McCready is not a grizzled old veteran mercenary yet. He's still a bit of a rosy cheeked lad in many ways. You know? <laughs> that moment when you realise your <laughs> stick has been shot out of your hand. <laughs> he did have that. Er, <laughs> second, didn't he? Yeah, he said, what happened there? 
It is like bodies. Well, Jesus Christ, lad. Wow. Um, I might have some uh, trade goods. Maybe, actually. Right, you guys actually here helping me now? Yeah, they're good. Although it might be worth letting one or two of them die. Yeah, get some uh, fixes for my power armor. Uh huh. Well, I'll actually get that inside anyway. So. Ew. Yes, oh please. my god. Uh, I wasn't trying to talk to you. Jesus, look at the bodies. <laughs> We are superior. We are the future of humanity. Uh huh. You are kibble. Uh, I mean, okay, lads. If that's what you think, I. Hmm. Seriously, what? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's just so hilarious that they still have this delusion that they. I mean, look at this. Look at this pile of dead mutants. There's just a couple there. Oh, there's one here too. Well, I'm glad he didn't get a chance to fucking use that. Ugh. Okay, yeah. so... Let's, uh... Sorry, I'm trying to itch. Scratch. Whatever. Here we is. No, I did actually get... To uh, talk to these guys last time. All right, local. No, you didn't. Mind explaining what you're doing here? I thought I had. Nope. How the hell did you hear my signal? It's not broadcast on a standard frequency. Oh, I see. You got one of those wrist-mounted computers. <laughs> yes, well, I have. Well, uh, I have a pit boy. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sure Protector McGraw will be happy to tell you. Why don't you go on inside? I'll let him know you're coming. Marill calling in. Suddenly very friendly out of nowhere. Yeah. Do you want to get some healing done on yourself? Uh, probably a good idea. You know, just in case. In case of what, I've no idea, but, you know. Well, they might get me down there and then decide to try and hack me up. <laughs> because that's <laughs> like how they do. you have technology! But the fucking the rock on the end of the stick is technology, technically speaking. You want to? <laughs> I mean, how far do you want to define this? And that's what we were afraid of. <laughs> it's like, so who wanted to ice me, and how long should I let them live? All right, you keep your weapons holstered, your hands to yourself, and your mouth shut. Follow me. I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> Just that cold <laughs> certainty. It's like, oh, I'm going to enjoy killing you. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's a real tonal whiplash with the uh, the Watch Brotherhood the outcasts, though, isn't there? Yeah. Hey, jeez, huh? can you walk any slower? He's wearing about 500 pounds of powered armor. I think maybe he has an excuse to not be jogging. Then again, it is power armor. Yeah, it's it's power armor. He should be able to move faster than do, almost do, do, stationary. Do, do. <laughs> Walk a little bit faster than a Krogan sprint. <laughs> that one cracked me up. Yes. Oh, there he goes. See, he can move faster. Thank you, Defender. Give us a moment, please. What are you yes, doing? I don't like this idea. Noted, Defender. That'll be all. Yes, sir. So you're the one Morel sent down. I'll be perfectly honest. I'd trust a Wastelander to shine my power armor, and even that's pushing it. But Who the fuck's shining your power armor? <laughs> Looks like shit. I can see well that then, real made the right call. let's not Maybe insult the one effort. vaguely friendly person we've met down here, huh? So you do I'm have smart. a brain. That's good. I'll keep it simple. <laughs> I need you and I need that computer of yours. You help me out and I'll do what I can to help you. This isn't an offer the outcasts extend to anyone, so you really should think carefully about it.
Records indicate there's some high value tech in this base, but we can't get to it. And you're Robbery going to give me a call? Glass door and we can't uh huh. Get it open. We're pretty sure. Yeah, that right. Smells <laughs> a bit iffy, <laughs> doesn't it? It's like, you're outcast. Why are you giving me a cut? Unfortunately, we don't have one. And let's face it, the cut right is take what you want. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you just walk in there with a big fucking sack with a dollar sign on it. <laughs> and you know, as you do. It's the liberation of Anchorage, Alaska from Chinese communists. It was a pretty significant event in American history, according to our scribe. I won't lie to you. It's heavy combat. Safety protocols disengaged. That means you die in the sim, your body goes into massive cardiac arrest. You're still listening. Yay! That explains why you guys haven't done it yet. Time's wasted. Oh. <laughs> can take you to the I don't know, these are soldiers after you all. If you want to walk away, you're free to leave. My men won't stop you. I think he might. Yeah, he's like. Are you salty? Are you sure you sided with the right guys, McGraw? Oh my god, look at that. Look to your left there. I'm guessing this. Yeah, it's a woman. Thought so. Yep. Sorry. I <laughs> just like. That is the most effeminate way to sit wearing power armor I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't mean to be insulting, no, but I could tell your gender just by the way you were sitting, especially with the fact that you've got fucking power armor on. <laughs> How can you even sit like that with fucking hydraulic pistons and, and big like you, you would expect, uh, metal like, ceramite plates between your legs? It's like you, you would have expected, like, if anyone was going to, quote, manspread, it would be someone in power armor. Yeah, no, I mean, they, that more so than just your junk, you there's about that six or seven out. pounds of metal, ceramic, and wiring stuck <laughs> around your crotch. The same thing we always do: recover technology and preserve it, making sure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. McGraw's the wrong hands being anyone else. Yes. I'm not convinced, but I'm on his side. Yeah, it would give you a um, an advantage if you fucking used it correctly. No, there is a. I uh, thought for a moment there it crashed. That would make me cry. There is a glitch where. Um, I think it's in here? Yeah, there's a dead dude in here. Which allows you to take weapons and equipment <clears throat> out of the sim. Yeah, you, you like drag his body. Oh, it's a Gary. Yes, it is. Oh, so, well, okay. So that's where they got their previous <laughs> pit boy attempt from. Yes. Wow, there is so much uneven here. Yeah, that's because you've had all those books. <laughs> uh. Right. Uh. Let's let's get lock pick up a bit. This should be entertaining. Trying to watch you desperately juggle all these numbers to get something resembling a nice even spread. Explosives. Wow. It's been a while since I put anything in explosives. Melee and medicine are the ones that you're shy of. Yeah. And two points remaining. It's like it's taunting <laughs> you. It does. It fucking hates me. Um, I'm going to put it into repair. Okay. Because they're going to be uneven anyway, so... Yeah, might as well. Right, let's see. I, I really should get some... Uh, some of these things up a bit. Mm. My perception needs to go up. You, well, you've always got the intensive training thing. I don't like using intensive training. Why not? Because it seems like a waste. There are only so many uh, opportunities to raise your vat, uh, your vats, your special points, as it is. But I mean, yeah, but there's only so many fucking perks you can take as well. That's true. Well, I mean, I would say gunslinger or something. <laughs> Here and now. Ugh. Yeah, just almost as bad as swift learner. I don't know. There's a running thing with uh, JPEG. You said. And I'm just like, I want to strangle you with the hero now perk. Well, maybe he's trolling. He is trolling. 
Uh, there are times where intense training is literally the best of a bad bunch of options. That's kind of what I'm looking at, and I'm like, well... Uh, no, it, it should have... Um, yeah, it, it should be thing, because it's six and six, but I'll increase my perception anyway, because... It's always good. Yeah, perceptions, perceptions are good ones I have. Yeah. Right, what were we doing? Uh, I was explaining the glitch. So yeah, you drag this dude, you drag him all the way in here, and then you have to kind of force him up over in underneath your feet here, so that when it closes it doesn't just spit him back out. And then you can look down. Yeah, and, and then you look down at where he is so that you have the activations thing on there. As the simulation starts. Yeah, and then when the simulation ends, you just start spamming the, the button to open up a container. And you can use him to smuggle out simulated weapons into the real world. Which means that the weapons don't break. I'm not doing that. I just thought I would explain it to anyone that doesn't know... I would do it. I would absolutely do it to get a pristine fucking Chinese assault rifle. Yeah, I know, but I'm I'm not doing it in this let's play. Okay. Not that I ever got it to work. It's always too fiddly for me. I got it to work. You can also smuggle out a lot of ammo. Yeah. Like a lot of ammo. Just all the ammo. So much. I might do the ammo glitch that's in here. At least a little bit, just so that I have a bit of a buffer. Because I like to um, hey, hey, shoot up. people lots. And here we are. In Alaska. It's nice to see something that's not green. Yeah. Like, <laughs> with a green overlay. Does this even have a filter on it at all? Uh, maybe a little blue one. Pale blue. Hmm. Guns blazing. We'll still meet at the rendezvous point inside as planned. Then we'll blow those artillery guns to hell. Just watch yourself. Okay. Reds up here won't take prisoners. Good luck. How do we know this? Didn't we just insert? Yeah, watch him go. Fucking seriously. This man, right? Now, that is some serious climbing skill. Yeah, this is just like balls to the walls free climbing. In full combat gear, no <laughs> less. Like, holy fuck. Sergeant, what the... Anyway, yeah. So that's a thing. Yes. Right, now I need to figure out which way I'm meant to go. <laughs> and I think it's this way. Welcome to Disorientation Central, Population U. It does like to do that. Mm. So, are you going to sneak through or are you just going to run in and shoot shit? Like, really? Who the fuck did I not hit? I love this mouse fart pistol. I, I don't understand how I'm not hitting anything. But yeah, this gun is, is a piece of shit. And it's alive. It's like, oh, how do they manage to silence this gun so much? Uh, I, it, yeah. is, it is literally silenced. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I guess because it's meant to be 2077, we can let that go, maybe? It does seem to have piss poor killing range, though. Yes, it, it's kind of shit like that, and... He's able to hit me, which really sucks. Which is why you should have been sneaking. Well, I was trying to sneak. I was trying to shoot the guy. But it wouldn't let me. On the plus side, health station. Yes. And now I need an ammo station. Yeah, on the downside, you have ten bullets. Have fun! Well, there should be a giggle. There should be an ammo station around somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure there is. But yes, this this seems like a bad idea. It seems like a bad training simulation. But 
But then who am I to question, what is it, General Chase? Yes. The great General Chase? Yes. The guy who managed to get like two million people killed? Yes. Who am I to question him? Okay, you need to just run across that gap. No, I need him to come over this side. Come over here. This way. Are you sure you can bait him across like this? I'm never going to kill him with this pistol. Not at this range. It sounds like a mouse fart, but it's also about as effective as one. Oh well, time to go for the trench knife. Uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Wish me luck! I already am. You might want to stand up as well. Yeah, uh, weapons please. And let me just deal with the little thing. Because you won't see it, but Cat's TV was doing something. There right. you go. There now go. give me a gun. No, nope, can't loot him. I know. It's terrible. It makes me so sad. So, yeah, there, there should be, uh, there's got to be a fucking ammo station somewhere here. Please, please. Well, you're meant to surprise them. You're meant to get fucking sneak crits. And stuff. That's a sniper. That is indeed a sniper. Give me the sniper. He doesn't want to. I want the sniper. There you go, health restored. So now you have the sniper. Good job. What new? Well, what now is I still need to uh, kill people with my knife. Apparently. Because. Oh, thank you! What? Who the fuck is shooting through the roof? He's behind you. Where the fuck did you come from? Here they come! Thank you! Really? You just described the perfect arc around his <laughs> head. Ah! Oh. Pop! Ew. Uh, hi? Right. I'll just shoot you right in the head. Can you still use that? Yes, I can. How does that work? Oh. Yes, please, with the ammo. Wait, if you'll just... Hang on. Hmm. With the way that the glitch works, right? Which one? The, uh, the bringing weapons through with you glitch. Yeah. The way that works is that you you still have them on you. Yeah, you, you have them just as you're transferring over. Right, so does that mean you can actually press your inventory button, your, your, uh, your pit boy button locks, like, until it brings that up, and then just drop the equipment? Uh, yeah, but it doesn't load through, so... What are you talking about, load through? Um, if you drop it, it, it counts as it's still being in simulation. Huh. That's a bit odd. Like, there's, there's a very, sh like, momentary window. Uh, window where you're both in the simulation and out of the simulation. Uh. Which is why the uh, the Gary glitch works. So you can't just drop shit and pick it up from around it? Not really. Doi. Yeah, this is really a sniper situation. God dang it. The fuck did I only graze him? <laughs> shit. Oh, in the gut. That is a horrible way to die. Yes, it is. Right, and I need uh, that one there and that piece of shit there. Well, it's great if you get uh, sneak crits. Yeah, but it's a piece of shit. I don't do sneaking. I do run up and shoot them. Uh-huh. Have you seen what my sneak score is? Eh, it's fair enough, I guess. Oh, God. 
Wait, can you still use Max in this? Yes, you've just asked that question. I'm sorry, my brain is <laughs> farting. Well, I was going to say, wouldn't that be... No, never mind. And don't forget to keep your eye out for uh, intel cases. Yes. There's ten of them in total. Yes. And what's, what bonus do they give you? Is it like a... Uh, you get an extra perk. Um... I can't remember what the perk does now, but yeah, you get an extra perk. Yeah. Oh no, dead American soldiers. Wow, the spread on this gun is actually worse than I thought. Yeah, if you're not like 100 on the uh, on the gun skill. So time to backtrack and find the health station. No, I'm just making sure I haven't missed any intel. Oh, well, okay then. I don't think I... Oh, I must have found um, all of them at one point or another. Like... Yes, because you had the... I had a 100% completion, but... Yeah. Yeah, I, was like, I just don't remember where they all are. But they're around. Where are they? Somewhere. Thank you, that's helpful. <laughs> and... The Gauss Rifle. Arr, arr, arr. That's that's a very pretty weapon. Yes, but it's also one that you don't have much skill with. Do ya? I'm, I'm not an energy weapons person. Exactly, Mundo. God, my nose is itchy. Yeah, I know. I just saw you stop <laughs> and scratch it. Which is fair enough. Really? You really need the Gauss rifle for this? Bollocks. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? Why don't you just run up, shove the barrel of your assault rifle in their face and pull the trigger? That's what you always do. Yeah, might be a good idea. And that's a chasm. Yeah, let's let's not be jumping down there. No, it that doesn't look like water. That looks like ice. Yeah, that that looks like a bad time when you <laughs> land. Yeah, so no diving in that. <laughs> like I dive head first, squish. No, don't. Well, more like snap. Well, of, I, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I was going to say crunch might be the uh, <laughs> the best description. She knows is itchy. Yes, my my nose is just like you're doing a thing. You need both hands. And let me be extremely irritating. <laughs> it's like uh, whoa. Oh, it's um, matey. God damn, this place is swarming with reds. I almost didn't make it. Yeah, I almost bought it out on the cliffs. Didn't know the reds were so handy with a sniper rifle. So, what's the situation? We clear to blow the hell out of this place? I like this guy. Yeah, huh? Yeah, I can spare a few rounds. Thank you. And I'm <laughs> supposed to kill the Chinese with what? Snowballs? Sorry, that's all I can give you. I got oh, you. Okay. It was worth it. <laughs> you gotta try. Well, you don't ask, you don't get, no. Yeah, but if you do ask, what you get is a mouthful of sass. Whoa. Watch it. Yeah, thanks. So, for those of you who have a fear of heights, <laughs> yeah, that's that's long, long ass way down. Yeah, that's that's a bit of a drop. That's the scientific description of the situation <laughs> is that it's a long ass way down. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Hey, boys. What's up, bitches? Oh, hey. Wow, was he shooting you all the way over there from a yep. with a fucking AK derivative? Yes, he was. I well, 
I guess, good shooting that dead person? Didn't help him in the end. You know, you might want to take just a quick moment to sit down, gather your wits, maybe talk to Monty here. Well, should I, uh, should I just pop over there and check out the uh, thing and that gives us a secure place to, you know, sort of sit in? Eh, I mean, that also works. Because now might be the time to just give it a rest for, you know, a fortnight. Yeah, maybe. Shame you can't take the pencils with you. Pencils! <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, I have been Sushi Cat, and I hope you've all had a fantastic day or night. And I've been mortal, and I hope Cat doesn't die catastrophically while she's playing this simulation. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, hey, Intel. <laughs> Yay!